Welcome back. We are in conversation with Mr. N.D. Agarwal of Goa Kaido. Sir, we just spoke about so much of empowerment that a person has as far as the delay, denial or deficiency in delivering the services is concerned and we can actually pull up the authority. Ji. Can you just enlighten us on what type of penalties or compensations that one person can go for? What is a criteria See, for that? As per the law, in case failure to provide a public service, officer has to pay rupees 50 each day subject to maximum 2500 rupees as a penalty. You said 50 rupees per, per day. day. That is in the case of delay. delay or, or denial. Denial. Hmm. Okay. In case deficiency in the services, hmm. he has to pay 500 rupees fine. Fixed amount. That is a fixed amount. Fixed Unlike amount. the previous one, which was 50 rupees per, per day, day. Eh? accumulative up to 2500. So, 2500. Okay. Third case. In case you file appeal, hmm. an appealed authority failed hmm. to dispose your appeal in a period of 45 days. Okay. There is a further provision to penalty of that appealed authority. Or that is a minimum fine of rupees 1000 rupees. Minimum fine of 1000 rupees. Which can go to 5000 rupees. Okay. There is another case. Suppose appealed authority given a direction to the Mamladar. Yeah. Subordinate officer, designated officer to deliver the service. In spite of that, suppose the person not deliver the service. Again, there is a minimum penalty 1000 rupees which can go up to 5000 rupees. Okay. And 60% of the said amount will be paid to you as a compensation. 60% of the said amount, said amount will be paid to you as a compensation. compensation. Okay. So, these are the penalty provision. Another thing was provided generally which is happening in the uh, public department. Suppose some officer reject the application. Yes. This act says you reject the application but you have to give the reasoning of the rejection. And also you have to mention ki in this much period you can file the appeal against this order to so and so person. So if I may ask you, hmm. that period of appeal uh, is uh, ranging to so 30 days. 30 days. Within 30, 30 days yeah. of rejection, uh -huh. you can file an appeal. File an appeal. Okay. Appeal at 30 days, given the power, they can accept the appeal after 30 days also. If they satisfy that the person who come in the appeal, I have the reasoning not to file the appeal. Within That's the kind of the special cases which special we get. Special cases there. Okay. okay. There are another provision is made. Suppose you are unable to file the appeal. The law further provides, in case you file a simple complaint to the government, a government consider it is that there is something injustice happened with you. And if he forward the application to appeal it authority, it is amount to be appealed. You are not required to file a formal appeal. Okay. Simple application which addressed to the government and government consider yes, this is something injustice happened. Or he said to appeal it authority to inquire in the matter, the application himself can be considered. Considered as appeal. Okay, in rarest of the rarest cases, I may like to ask you, suppose like I have already filed a particular uh, uh, request, huh. there has been a denial, something, God forbid, uh, the demise of that person takes place, who has actually uh, gone for this particular uh, asking for a document or whatever the services are, in that scenario, can his nominee or somebody else can file the appeal or... Uh, Is it? Here the said person should be eligible person. Yes. Eligible person is a person who are the citizen of India and stay in a state of Goa. Go. Okay. So any eligible person can go and appeal, he can ask the claim and compensation. And uh, if I do go for a claim or a compensation, then what is the time frame that uh, it normally, you know, you get uh, the compensation? Because many a times there is the first question, like, you know, if I'm asking for it, then what is the, the time? 45 days period has been given appealate authority to dispose your appeal. So 30 days for you to appeal and, and 45, 45 days, days for period given to dispose of, to the, dispose of the case. Okay. In case he not he failed to dispose 45 days, then he himself liable for pay the fine. Okay, that's very informative uh, for our viewers. Uh, that's very informative. See, sir. it not simply keep uh, appealate authority kept the paper pending. So he cannot keep the pending. They have to dispose in a period of 45 days. So you 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 feel you know like uh, if these things are actually implemented at its rights earnest, the disposal of cases 
in an earnest, right earnest way will take place and you know there wouldn't be a backlog. Of it should not be backlog, there should not be suffer. See, what is the pun? This system, if we go in the background of the system, why this act has come in the picture. Yeah. The, it is since beginning it is the bury of the uh, uh, on top of the uh, government that public delivery system is not in place. So one administrative reforms commission was constituted. Okay. They suggested that each department should publish the citizen charter and intimate the public what should be time schedule, what how to get the services. Okay. But that citizen charter concept it not succeed. I can say it become one of the ornaments of the system. Okay. Uh, so thereafter, in 2010, first time, the state of Madhya Pradesh, this act has come. So the state of Madhya Pradesh is the pioneer in this pioneer field. in this field. We are the 13th state in country who have enacted similar type acts. Right. On that note, I would like to take a break, and we will be back soon with Mr. Agarwal to know that Goa has been the 13th state to implement this particular act. Let's find out how Goa Kaido as an app is going to benefit in understanding this particular law in a better way. We'll be back soon. Stay tuned with us.